This is a lot like the problem in the book. We just change the numbers. Suppose that interest is 6% compounded continuously and you make a payment of $50 at the end of every year starting with an initial amount of $1,200. So the $1,200 is put in the bank at time equal to zero. And then at the end of the first year you make a payment of $50. At the end of the second year you make a payment of $50 and so on until the end of the tenth year. Now we would like to know how much we would have in the bank. All right. Well this is the amount we'd have. Uh, the $1,200 sits there for ten payment periods. 10 years. And uh, the interest rate is 0.06 and so it's, since it's compounded continuously you have e to the 10 times 0.06 times 1200. Then there are those other payments. The payment that is made at the very end, at the end of the uh, 10 years, that one doesn't sit in there for any length of time and so you, that corresponds to k equal to 0. The payment before that one sits in the bank or whatever is giving you this interest for a period of one year and so you'd have 50 times e to the 1 times 0.06 and so on down to the payment that was made at the end of the first year which sits in the bank for nine years and so you'd have an e to the 9 times 0.06 times 50 for that one. So what you'd have would be this payment that sat there for the whole 10 year period it would uh, grow to the amount $2,186 essentially. And then these other payments, they sit in the bank for various periods of time and the amount you get from those would be 664. Now notice you only have 10 of them and they're $50 each so without interest you'd only get $500 but with the interest you end up with 664. And so we just add these two amounts and that gives us the total amount in the bank or whatever is giving the interest.